Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS text properties. In the previous video tutorials, we have discussed CSS text indent property, CSS text align property and CSS text align last property. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss some more CSS text properties like letter spacing, word spacing, line height property. Before we proceed and understand how we can use them, you can see here I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. In the body section, we have three paragraphs written. Paragraph 1, Paragraph 2, Paragraph 3. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo and it is displaying three different paragraphs. Paragraph 1, Paragraph 2 and Paragraph 3. First of all, I am going to format all these three paragraphs. I go to notepad. I am going to use inline style. I say here style equal to. I use font family CSS property. I say century is the font. Also, I am going to say text align justify semicolon. I copy the inline style, paste into second paragraph, paste into third paragraph, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that all three paragraphs are now looking good. They are properly aligned. What if we want to add some space between the characters of the first paragraph? How do we add space between the letters of these characters? How do we increase the space or decrease the space? We can take help of CSS letter spacing property. CSS letter spacing property is used to specify the space between the letters or characters. Values we can assign to CSS letter spacing property are we can use fixed length units like pixel, point, we can use responsive units like em, percentage, etc. Let's see the demonstration. I go to the notepad. In the first paragraph, I say letter spacing. I am going to add two pixel space, semicolon, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that two pixel space is added in between the letters or characters of the first paragraph. And also you can observe the first paragraph is looking more readable and attractive than below two paragraphs, right? You can try using CSS text properties in your web pages to display the content in more readable, more attractive, more appealing and more accessible way. I want to add some more space between the words of the second paragraph. How do we do that? We can take help of CSS word spacing property. It is used to specify the space between the words. Values that we can assign to CSS word spacing property are we can use fixed length units like pixels and points. We can use responsive units like em, percentage, etc. I can go to the notepad. Here I am going to say word spacing. I am going to add 16 pixel space. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the space between the words is increased and now the second paragraph is looking quite different. Even though all paragraphs are having the same font that is century, but still they are looking different by adding letter spacing, word spacing, right? Let me go to the third paragraph. I want to increase the line height. I want to increase the space between the lines. How do we do that? We can take help of CSS line height property. Line height property is used to specify the space above the below the text or you can say the space between the lines. Various values that we can assign to CSS line height property are we can use fixed length units as well as responsive unit like percentage, em, etc. I go to the notepad. Here I am going to say line height. I am going to add 32 pixel space. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the space between the lines of third paragraph is now increased. We can not only use pixels, we can use other units like points, em, average, etc. In the previous video tutorials, we have discussed how to convert pixels to em. We know that 16 pixels equal to 1 em. So, if I say 2 divided by 16, I am going to get the em value that is 0.125 em is equal to 2 pixels. So here I can say 0.125 and this is going to be em file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that there is no change in the first paragraph. Good. Similarly, 
I am going to convert 16 pixels to EM. We know that we can say here 16 divided by 16 is equal to 1. 1 EM equal to 16 pixels. So here I say 1 EM. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see there is no change in the second paragraph. Similarly, third paragraph. Also, I am going to convert pixel to EM line height property. So how do we do that? We are going to say 32 divided by 16 is equal to 2 EM. So 2 EM is equal to 32 pixels. I say here 2 EM, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that there is no change. I suggest you people to try using letter spacing, word spacing, line height, text in different CSS text properties and display the content more appealing, attractive and readable. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we discuss some more CSS text properties. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.